Our main inspiration was the fact that we all, like myself and everybody else that put this together, kind of came from trying to put bands together as junior high kids, as high school kids, and never knowing where to look. I hope someday. was if we can put feelers out and just create a space for kids to come together that it would almost like assuredly like harbor some kind of creative spirit and give some of these kids a space to, to play in. We have some SWRs have it so they can have to be so so um, so in a way that I don't think I was actually like really excited about that first meeting. I think going into it we thought this is gonna be kind of an experiment or in that like we're going to like have to get answers from these kids that are going to dictate what this program is going to wind up being on a day-to-day -day basis. I thought it was going to be really interesting. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of different kinds of people uh, which I thought you know what this 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 could be this could be weird or it could be awesome <laughs> I feel like Dubuque has a, a lack of really intense jam bands or bands that'll really put on a. We need some youth, some younger bands to really okay. blast. And High five. It's like very rare to find something other than a song about a your dying dog or something. <laughs> <laughs> help me get better just jamming with a drum set people that are actually want to jam and not just sit there and kind of do the same thing they've been working on just what they want to do it's like everybody together so it's more fun it makes you work as a musician like collaborating with others
Well, I'd think say you really play well together. Like we both have similar ideas and similar tastes, so we kind of just uh, combine when we play and just like really hit notes and hit songs and stuff that you could normally get to. We thought we, from the selection we put together, as Addison had mentioned, um, we thought it'd be good to get ones that are, we both like older music, but to get one, or to get these songs that are from different artists and, and different genres. Like you have Johnny Cash, which is more of the uh, honky tonk slash uh, country in the 60s, roughly 70s. And then we, you have the Led Zeppelin, which is rock, and then, you know, um, the other song that's more like 60s uh, psychedelic rock, so I thought it really tied it together nice. So I think a big, a big part is uh, musician uh, communication to be able to talk to the people and you're all on the same page because I mean if everything's loud you're just going off looks from looking at each other and just looking at their hands well, that's also a good skill but but to, able, but to be able to be on the same page verbally and know what you're doing I think that's a major challenge to overcome. an idea that I want to do, I want to make it like my own thing, which I know it sounds kind of selfish, but otherwise I feel like it kind of just becomes this jumbled mess of different artistic styles that doesn't really work. Um, I'm able, I have a lot of flexibility, like if I need a drummer, I have, you know, a drummer that I can pair up with, if I have, if I need a female vocalist, I, you know, have Olivia or whoever I need, um, so it, it allows me a lot of flexibility. I'm excited because it's my first live performance and I want to see what people think of me, but I'm nervous because I think I sound awful. I honestly think I sound terrible and I can't imagine anyone liking my music. So. You can call me Johnny Boy, I'm not going to say my whole name because I don't like it. Um, I play piano a little bit, I play baritone in middle school, um, it's like a trumpet, a little bit deeper sound. Uh, I play guitar, pretty much any other instrument you throw at me, I'll learn, or I'll make something up on it, seems like I know how to play it. Um, I also songwrite and I sing too. I plan on like producing an album or whatever, so... See how that goes. Um, I've learned that, like, you know, you, I mean, there are a lot of amazing musicians, so you, you gotta find that one thing that makes you you. And, I mean, some, some of the people up there, I mean, some of them have found it, some haven't. I've noticed a little bit. Some people just kind of, they have that spark, some don't. I mean, been around enough musicians to know that like I can tell when someone like really wants it versus someone's just like I'm not sure what they want. A lot of people here want it I can tell so you know something like that.
side of my bed. 